love sports, you know, like so many of us, just loved it, you know. I grew up in a state of Michigan where you had baseball with the Tigers, you had hockey with the Red Wings, you had football with the Lions. I went to so many Piston games, you know, the Spartans and the Wolverines. But when you love sports, you start to, you start to find the, the, the teams that you love. I still go back to that 76 game was so big to me, you know, just building that love. But, but I was around coaches that were like parental figures to me, and it made me really want to be like them. So I think, to me, that's what really took off from. Talk about your early years. You know, I know you coached high school while sure. you were in college. And, and what, what were you learning then? How did you feel about the game? Did you really see it as a, a future career? No, I didn't. It's a good question. I did not see it early. I was, I was probably, you know, maybe a restless spirit. I was young, and I knew that I wanted to do something. But I thought it was going to be in television. I thought it was going to be in broadcasting or radio, something like that. And, but I coached, and, uh, you know, I was learning. And, and uh, But I really didn't know what I was learning, but I was enjoying it. And then I'd start to go to some college practices. And then I'd start to watch more games. And then I'd start to work out with players more and more and more. And then I was hooked. And, and uh, went to work at my old high school right after high school when I was going to college and then did a Division three school, Elma College, when I turned 20 and did both for three years. So to me, that was incredible. Made a lot of friends and uh, uh, just loved it. How'd you end up with uh, Judd Heathcote at Michigan State? Did you just go ask for a No, grad Tom has organized that. I had some other opportunities as a graduate assistant. I actually could have gone to Michigan. At the same time, Steve Fisher had taken over the team a long time ago and won the national championship. And uh, uh, it was an opportunity that I almost couldn't pass up. But you know what? I was a Spartan fan at that point. And I loved Tom. Tom had been so good to me uh, that that's where I wanted to be. So I worked for Judd Heathcote for a year, and it was wonderful. Tell me about what it's like when you have a family reunion and Jim and John are there. Are there things that all coaches can talk about and relate to? Absolutely. We haven't really had many family reunions, but we've had different get-togethers. And I'm sure we'll have them here. But, oh, absolutely. I mean, we're sharing things all the time. All the time. And I know uh, uh, that I was able to give Jim some insights into things when he took over at San Diego and Stanford, and I'm going to need them from him now. You know, when you go here, every time, because I've only made one change as a head coach, and it's to come to Indiana. Every time you change... You have some things that you know you will absolutely do again, and you have some things that you know you wouldn't have done at all, and some things that you know that you will do better. And it's fun to talk to people that you respect about their list of those things. And my, and my brother-in-laws are the same way. What are some of those things? I mean, is there anything that you can, can share as, as far as what you learned at Marquette and maybe you're going to do different this time around? Well, I think, I think one of the things right now is, is you've got to breathe. I mean, you've got to catch a breath, and you can't. You can get overwhelmed in these jobs, I mean, quickly, and... and uh, uh, because everybody means well, and you want to spend time with everybody. But there's so many things. We have pressing needs right now. We have absolute pressing needs. And, and uh, you know, my assistant that's taken over Marquette, he doesn't have those pressing needs, you know, right now. He's inheriting a program that is in incredible shape. He's got to have his speech ready for the banquet tonight, you know. I've got to have some things, some different things today. But that's the beauty of it, you know. You just, you move forward. I mean, you just keep doing the things that you have to do. The actual coaching on the floor, I know you've had some individual workouts. What's it been like uh, being able to just be on the floor with these guys? Oh, I love it. I mean, as I said, it's the first time I've really felt like the coach. You know, when you get out there and you put on some sweats and, and an Indiana shirt and you're out there uh, doing things with them, it's been great. And we'll do more tomorrow.